Hello, I am David Hochbaum and welcome to my studio. A lifetime is recorded within the countless unique memories and collective experiences we share. Together they create our story. And the things that we create in order to share our stories often carry clues that if followed upstream can lead us towards the origin of our ideas. One of my ideas and its origin that I want to focus on here is the Twisted Tower. I began really churning out this version of my tower works in 2019. I created several drawings, paintings, and sculptures, all that had this distinct shape. And even though it was nothing new for me to be using this swooping shape in my work, it was this particular time when my obsession with the Tower of Babel and the shape came together. Putting them together did something new for me. It triggered a resonating memory of a place. The place is the twisted hill that leads to the house where I grew up. For all my life, this ascent means the end of a journey towards home. The hill itself is teeming with memories of childhood magic and filled with sacred spots for me. One of those particular spots is one that I like to revisit whenever I go home, and it's right here on the top of the hill. I must have been in first or second grade. I recall first sitting right here to ponder in peace the repercussions of being myself, of what it was to be alive and experience the events that were happening to me. I recall sitting and listening to the noise of the birds and the wind of the trees. I recall focusing on the immediate sounds all around me, the cars passing by, the neighbors, and I would question why it was I that was witnessing all the events happening around me. Why did I feel the sting of rejection at school? Why did I worry about doing well in class? Why can I not just float away from this life and travel beyond what I see right in front of me? Why was I trapped to witness this non-stop unfolding of life? I put myself into a trance until I felt nervous and I'd shake myself out and then get on with my life. Coming down the hill here, I see another one of my childhood landmarks, my sad rock. I would come sit here and sulk after getting in an argument with my parents or my sister or just having a bad day at school. Oh, look, that's a cool stick. Pew, pew, pew. There's so much history here for me, and history has long been a strong driving force behind my work. In my early days as a student, almost all of my work was fueled by a passion for art history and religious imagery. I explored the classic representations of the gods, heroes, the deities, and the demigods of ancient mythologies and theologies created my own depictions of the saints and angels, and I sometimes confronted contemporary historical blunders of humanity. These early years of combing through historical imagery laid the foundation for me to create my own personal mythologies leading up to my current works. But I want to stay on the path of the Twisted Towers, and the tower's origin has many sources of influence. So let's follow a trail of these influences. Let's start with a less subtle one, easily spotted source of inspiration, and that is of the Japanese artist Hakusai and his famous Tsunami Wave. We can keep following this path 
and see another not-so-subtle reference, the crescent moon. The path to the crescent moon now leads us to a boat, and the shape is repeated in the hull of a ship. There are also a lot more subtle hints to be found along the pathway to the origin of the shape. We see it in the bent over back, the arching of the contorted body, twisting. See it in these waves, in this hair, curling and grabbing like tentacles. Okay, that covers the shape, but how about the origin of the image? How did I come to put the tower inside of the shape? The earliest trigger I can think of when I think of the Twisted Tower is the image of the fallen man. I came across this picture in a collection of woodcuts that was depicting medieval life. It's supposed to be a suicide attempt, but its proportions are so off that it looks comical rather than tragic. I think that's what drew me to this picture. I've appropriated and recreated this image a number of times. once even posing myself as the fallen man from the tower. This theme continues in my architectural landscape work, replacing the fallen figure with the house teetering on top of one of my towers. The tension of the teetering house eventually became a toppling pile, and then I created several sculptures and paintings and drawings depicting the crumbling tower. progression then took an interesting turn and the tower froze into place, not toppling over, but cresting like the wave. And that brings us right back to the inspirations I spoke of earlier. I find it really interesting and enlightening to travel up and down the rivers and streams of an idea. I discover new ways of seeing things, and I visit familiar places which haunt my mind with a sweet and melancholic reverie. Or maybe I just like bananas.